Hello everyone. Welcome to Practically. Today we are going to study the different types of joints which helps us in different body movements. And to assist us to study these different types of joints, we have with us today Mr. Boni. Welcome Mr. Boni. Mr. Boni is happy to assist us. Today we are going to study four different types of joints. Let's begin with the first one that is the pivotal joint. In this type of joint, the movements is restricted around a central axis and the best example of this type of joints are the joint between the skull and the spinal cord or the cervical span. As you can see here, this is the pivotal joint and this type of joint allows the movements either sideways or the up and down motion around the pivot. The second type of joint is the ball and socket joint. In this type of joint, one of the surface is of the bone is curved and another is like a ball so that it freely rotates around it. And here on the screen you can see the hip bone and the thigh bone of Mr. Boney. The hip bone has the curved cup-like structure and the thigh bone has a, the rounded structure which fits into it and rotates in different direction to allow free movements. Another example of ball and socket joint is the shoulder joint, which also allows the motion freely. So this was the ball and socket joint. The third type of joint is the hinge joint. In these type of joints, the motion is allowed only in one direction, that is back and forth. Here you can see example of hinge joint, which is between the leg bone, that is tibia fibula, and the thigh bone that is femur. So here is the hinge joint which allows the motion only in the back and forth direction. Another example of hinge joint is the elbow joint which also allows the back and forth movement and it is called as it is very similar to that of the doors the hinge of the door which opens and closes hence it is called as the hinge joint. Let's move on to the fourth and last type of joint that is fixed joint. In these type of joints the movement is restricted. So we have certain bone connections in our body which can't move. And again we have Mr. Boney showing the different uh, fixed joints in our body. So we have skull. So skull is made up of many bones which are connected to each other in such a way that they can't move. And another similar examples we have is of backbone and that of pelvic bones. So these are the various examples of fixed joint which cannot move. And here were the four different types of joints. So once again, thank you Mr. Boni for assisting us to study different types of joints. For more such amazing content, simulations and videos, download the Practically app and register to start your free trial. Thank you.